Gas prices are dropping in the U.S. now nearing four dollars a gallon. Isn't it crazy? Because we were talking about how high they were with four dollars a gallon. Well, meanwhile, OPEC plus members reached an agreement today to increase oil production. Yeah, but it's not the boost that some critics have been hoping to see. Fox Business Network's Edward Lawrence with more from the White House. For weeks, drivers have been seeing some relief at the pump as gas prices, while still high, continue to drop. The national average at $4.16 a gallon. That's down roughly 65 cents from a month ago. Yeah, it's a good start. But it's not just good news for consumers. The Biden administration is touting their efforts to keep money in Americans' pockets. We're now seeing 50 days into what remains the fastest decline in gas prices in over a decade. Gas prices are now down 86 cents a gallon from their June peak, saving American families with two cars on average over $90 a month on gas. OPEC Plus on Wednesday agreed to increase their production in September by 100,000 barrels a day. But that's down from the bigger increases in July and August. The group pointing to the effects of staggering inflation and rising COVID-19 rates, which they say could impact demand for fuel in the fall. It is the smallest increase per, uh, in production that OPEC has ever announced since 1986, second lowest ever. OPEC Plus's slight increase equates to 0.1% of global demand. Critics calling it an insult just weeks after President Biden went to Saudi Arabia and made the push for increasing the global oil supply to bring down gas prices made worse by the Russian invasion in Ukraine. Still, the White House remains upbeat. And I said this uh, earlier, and I'll, I'll say this again. Um, the fact of the matter is that uh, oil and gas prices are coming down. Despite the small increase by OPEC Plus, President Biden says he's not making any changes to his energy policy. At the White House, Edward Lawrence, Fox Business.